What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, RD Kicks. And just like that, we back with another one. All right, y'all. So, I've been sitting on this video for a very long time. I was like, you know what? I'll wait. You know, we'll see if Trump, you know, makes it another, another, another term. If not, then I'll do the reaction. So, we're here. And I think the coast is clear. Because ain't no telling what might get said in this video. I, I'll say it again. I'm not into politics, so I'm nor for or against Trump. If I was into politics, then I would have to be for or against Trump. People just don't understand that. But anyway, this kid right here, 16-year-old, raps about Trump. Official music video. That's the title of a music video? Okay. We gonna get into it. Y'all ready? I'm not. We gonna get ready. Let's go. What you about to talk about, boy? What you know about politics? You, you're less than half my age. I don't no, know I'm nothing. Not I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just I don't know the way. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the You can do anything. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Dear Trump, there ain't no other way that I can say this. Okay. The whole world knows that you're a liar and a racist. Uh -oh. The fire in the pavement, satire imitation. Yeah. of just someone from the past filled with dire freaking hatred. Ooh. Whoa, wait a minute. What did this boy say? Let me take it back. They're rapists. He's, he's saying some stuff here. And some, I assume, are good people. Dear Trump, there ain't no other way that I can say this. Okay. The whole world knows that you're a liar and a racist. Uh -oh. The fire in the pavement, yeah. satire imitation. Yeah. Just someone from the past filled with dire freaking hatred. Ooh, it's, uh, ooh, damn. From all your views on things where you lie on immigration, okay. you want to build a wall and just divide us as a nation. Mm. Rights and the states, all these trials, tribulations. You're a front runner. Honestly, surprised you even made it. That's wow. This kid is something else. Tribulations. You're a front runner. Honestly, surprised you even made it. That's yeah. no compliment. That just proves our country got no common sense. Voting for this man who take this nation and demolish it. Hate me if you will, love me if you will. Everything he said so far is exactly how I have felt. Word from word. Keep it going, boy. A man who never knew the closest thing about the politics. Donald J. Trump, the man who really needs to call it quits. All the things that come out your mouth, it's all crazy. Mm. Like Mexicans are rapists and murdering people daily. All the Mexicans that when it came up to the States were just families looking for better life, better safety. But of course, you don't know about the struggle of trying to get a dollar. You had the richest father, small loan of a million dollars. I <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a bar. That was a bar, but it was facts. It was facts. Everything he said sounds like facts right now. Of course, I'm American and I live in America and I'm going to have my opinion about somebody. Don't get it twisted. Was it for me to say that I was against him? No. That's not the same thing. You can have your opinion about somebody. It could be completely negative, but you could still be for them. I got many of friends that got a, a whole bunch of negative stuff to say about Donald J. Trump. I think J was the initial to his middle name. But anyway, I got a bunch of friends that got a ton of negative stuff to say about him, but yet they voted for him. Yet they were for Trump. Let's use this. Let's use this, people. Need to get this point branded through you. You never worked in your life. It's just like everything was handed to you. You act a fool and you're just. Uh, I, that's the the first thing he said, or maybe the second thing he said that I disagree with. Uh, he might have had a few things handed to him, but he's a hard worker. You act a fool and you're just playing it through. It's full blown destruction is what you're aiming to do. And some pretty bad groups are loving and praying for you. See if the KKK supports you. What's that say about you? You got a twist, Donald. Damn. This is like, 
Did this come out a few years ago? Like, it feel like this is so relevant to today. And there's a lot of things you're missing, Donald. See, this is real life. This ain't a science fiction novel. If you're elected, we'll be gone in a week. Bombs in the streets, right when we're trying to make peace. It's disappointing. I wouldn't be surprised if you brought war. And by the way, America, I expected a lot more. But yeah, seriously. Um, what's funny is this is a, a young Caucasian boy that's feeling this way. 16 years old and, and, and smarter and brighter than a lot of grown folks older than him. Double, triple, quadruple his age. They see, he sees what it really is. He sees it for what it is. He sees this man better than most people can see this man. I get it though. I understand why a large group of people wanted him. Is he a better choice or a better op option <laughs> to what we currently have? Maybe. Maybe. Who are we kidding? Probably most definitely. I don't know. Man ain't been in office long enough, but um, this whole thing's a shit show. That's, that's that much I do know. See, you know why I didn't vote? Because there wasn't good enough options for me. I was like, give me some options that I actually want. I'm still not into politics, so that ain't never going to change. But still, there wasn't the options there that I felt I really would have connected with. I've never seen those options. They've never been they've never been presented to me. For a man who's really rich and acting hardcore when he's the one that's trashing up everything that we fought for. But wait, yo, I got more. Yeah, you want an encore? Trump's a known abuser too. That one he was caught for. You claim you started from the bottom having a fight when you never paid a single freaking tax in your life. Facts on a mic. You always lived a lavish in life. So don't say you struggle. You don't understand what it's like. <clears throat> Yo, what's wrong? You need a tissue? You getting sick of people always pointing out your issues? Look, I don't know how to put this up. This kid is something else. I'll say it bluntly. You want to evacuate all Muslims out the country because mm. of terrorists? Come on, Trump. You know that that's some dumb ish. Yeah. If that ain't racist or stereotypical, well, then what is? Yeah. Just get your campaign invested into a hawk. Because yeah. now you advocating sexual assault? Now that's evil. Come on, people. You need to stop. You need to wake up and realize what Trump we going to make America hate again. Y'all yeah, heard that? He said, people, y'all need to wake up and realize that with Trump, He's going to make America hate again. Did y'all understand that like I understood it? Prime example. A lot of people are going to hate me after this reaction. Do I care? Zero fucks given. But they will. Why? Partially because they were Trump supporters. But they're not going to realize that the hatred that this man has had for many a people, the Muslims, the Spanish, the blacks, whomever, has bled into their life. They might not have had hatred before, but they have hatred now for someone that is against something that they were for. You don't have to hate somebody that's against something that you're for. I don't hate anybody for nothing. A personal attack on me and the ones that I love might create some type of feeling, but it'll never be hatred. Because when you hate someone or something the only person that will ever hurt is you you understand that because that's a negative feeling that's a negative emotion that exists within you your hate for someone doesn't hurt the person that you hate it for that's why i said zero fucks given
Because you hate me and I can't even see you. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It makes you feel sick. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and try it. You'll see. Faces some enormous problems. You know, we have a middle class that's disappearing. Uh, we have almost all new wealth and income going to the top 1%. We got climate change. We have a corrupt campaign finance system. And with somebody like a Trump, is Trump. I don't know a lot about Sanders, but I felt like he would have been a decent option if it wasn't for. I, I can't even say it wasn't for the fact, but I just felt like he was. You can buy him out. I feel like he was bought. Like, hey, um, drop out of this race and i give you $10 million. I, I could be completely wrong, but I just feel that's the vibe I get from, from that individual. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. If you like this reaction, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the ground, man, Twitter, at Artie Kicks. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.